It is once again six o'clock in the morning and uh, we've got a plane to catch to Denver. This is what happens when you make stupid bets. We're at Scooter's Coffee now. I just need a little pick-me-up. I'm about to pass out. I will do a hot turtle latte medium, please. What else for you? That's gonna be it. As far as the time goes, it's 6.40. We're making good time. I'm scheduled to be at the airport an hour and a half before my flight, which is great, because I'm definitely gonna want something to eat too, even though it's gonna be overpriced and terrible. <laughs> but that's how traveling works. Okay, got the coffee. Before we hit the road, we're gonna do our first little review of this trip. And this is Scooter's Coffee, like I said. I've never had this before, but I've seen it. That's a good coffee. I'd say it's pretty hard to mess a coffee up, but 8 out of 10. I do plan to go to In-N-Out later today, too, and that better be fire. Anyway, I'm going to hit the road now, and I'll probably just catch back up with you guys once I'm through TSA, because I'm going to do a lot of filming in Denver, and I don't need to have most of the filming be the morning of the trip. All right, I lied. You guys will get one more update as I'm about to go in the airport. Finally parked. Took me literally 10 minutes to find a spot. But it's 7.40 a.m., and I am now about to walk in and go through TSA, and uh, it's kind of cutting close on time now, so I got to get moving. All right, so I'm off the plane and I'm in the Denver airport now. Uh, I always heard a rumor that you could ask your pilots for trading cards, and I did, and that shit's real. Literally couldn't believe it. But uh, now I'm gonna go pick up my rental car. I'm just checking out this weird Star Wars looking sculpture thing. Feels like the Metrodome. So now we're finally in the rental car and I'm driving right to the Broncos stadium because I just wanna get this picture done with right away so we can enjoy the rest of our day. Should be worth noted though, if you can see the rear view uh, window there, this is the dirtiest fucking car in the entire lot. Like I need to go get a car wash, this is stupid. Damn dude, look at those mountains. Minnesota ain't got nothing like this. Dude, I just missed Coors Field, like I passed it and I literally saw the warehouses that Ken Griffey Jr. hit during the home run derby that one year. Like I wanted to get my phone out but I couldn't get it out fast enough. It's actually so cool. Like I noticed the warehouses before I noticed Coors Field on my left. I was like, holy shit. Oh, fuck, there it is. All right, and uh, we're here, Empower Field. You know, structurally, it's actually a very, very cool stadium. I don't think I've ever given it the credit it deserved. Unfortunately, there's not a lot to see here, and I'm not even supposed to be standing where I am, so we're gonna get this picture done with, and we're leaving to go get in and out Haven't eaten yet today, I'm fucking starving. You know what's crazy is my dad's buddy told me to dress warm because he's from here. Dan, it's 45 degrees. It's been negative 20 in Minnesota for two weeks. This is beautiful. Oh, there. Huh? There. You fucking happy? You happy, Sean Payton? I don't care if people see me. I deserve it. I put way too much on the line for this stupid fucking team. I'm a clown. All right, we're here, and I'm going to give it another shot, and I do not want to hear any flack if I do not love it, because you guys swear I underrate this place, and I do not believe I do. They were crazy quick to take that order as well. I got a uh, number two, which is a cheeseburger meal with animal style fries. All right, I have got the cheeseburger and animal fry meal. Does look pretty good. So first off, we're gonna dive right into the burger. And as you can see, it is extremely greasy, but that won't stop us. You guys, basic ass fast food. To be honest, I haven't tried the fries yet. I've only had this burger, but this is like a six out of 10. There's like no flavor. I'm gonna drop this to a five. This really is not good. Perhaps I should have gone to the dispensary before I ordered my food, not after, because I am about to go there. Hope that doesn't break anybody's hearts either. I'm almost 30 years old and it's legal in Minnesota and it's definitely legal here, so I'm going to embrace it. Okay, now for the animal fries. I didn't get enough of the sauce. There we go. The guys, this is the most average fast food place in the world. I might have overrated it, or else I just got a bad experience here, but this is not special, and I apologize. Listen to these fries. Zero crunch. You guys getting anything? I'm not. Overall rating, five and a half out of 10. Okay, so we got the rental car. We took the picture. We ate food. Our day is complete, and it's only 1230. Now we're gonna go have some fun. 
fun. All right, so I know I said we were gonna do some fun stuff and we are soon, but we're actually just gonna check into the hotel first because I don't wanna drive anymore. I wanna walk everywhere because Denver is so close together and my hotel is right there. There, that brown building, I think. So we're gonna check in quick and then uh, we'll probably go out after that. Oh shit, never mind. My hotel's right there. Not right there. This looks a lot more inviting. My dirty ass car. <laughs> Daddy's home. Huh, not too shabby either. I've never actually had a hotel room to myself before. Give you guys a little tour because I don't even know what I'm going into. All I know is I ordered a king size bed, so there better be a king size bed. So uh, anyway, I'm guessing this is a bathroom? Indeed. Oh shit, it's actually a really nice bathroom. This is a nice hotel. Definitely gonna be using that shower before we go out for our steak dinner tonight. Now as far as the actual room goes, oh, we got a little closet here. And then an actual pretty special spacious hotel room like this is definitely meant for two beds and there's only one in here so it's actually kind of nice what up boy and uh let's see what the view is like ah <laughs> beautiful holy fuck that building is tall dude <laughs> Damn. As for now, I'm just gonna kind of really quickly uh, unpack, kind of unwind a little bit, organize my stuff, and then finally uh, we can go out and have some fun. All right, so I've changed clothes, I've regathered myself, recuperated, and uh, we're ready to go take on the city. I even packed my boots. I kind of want to fit in, you know? I gotta look the part. Do people in Denver wear boots, or am I just stupid for thinking that? Anyway, let's go hit up our first uh, shop. Oh, no way. I definitely want to try one of these. Maybe later. Ooh, or perhaps I should get an authentic Denver sandwich. This is actually really cool, but at the same time, kind of similar to Minneapolis. Like, kind of. What I mean by that is it's just buildings everywhere. Buildings, 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 buildings. Definitely better architecture here, though. Minnesota is just a bunch of buildings that look like that or that. We don't got any cool things like this. Believe the place I'm looking for is right up on the corner here. I've actually been here uh, before. Yes, sir, right there, Jars Cannabi. I wonder what they sell. All right, so we got what we need. Um, I wanted to film down there, but I didn't want to get kicked out. You're not supposed to have your phone out, so I just played by the rules, but we're good, and uh, we're gonna go on a little walk now. Continue exploring the city. Whoa. That's a huge building. Go check it out. It's really quiet here. I don't know what this area is. Oh, okay, so we got like a park over there. The Denver Post, what the fuck? And here's like the big ass cathedral thingamabobber. Must be the capital, like I, I really don't know. Here's something kind of cool. I'm like in this park now with all these geese in the middle of Denver, but this is like a soldier. Oh, let's try and read this. Say Joe P. Martinez. Colorado's first Congressional Medal of Honor recipient. Then there's just this random gigantic fucking Coliseum in the middle of the town. Hey, you guys see this steam? That's the Ninja Turtles token a fat one. <laughs> That smells like Donatello. All right, now it's three o'clock and uh, we're gonna go check out the Denver Art Museum. It's gotta be cool, right? Okay, so this is modern art and arts of Africa. Whoa. What the fuck is that? I think I've seen this in my dreams. Give me the creeps. Okay, well, that was fucking insane. Let's go get a beer. So the place we're going is a sports bar called Pub on the Pen, but I'm starting to have a really bad feeling that I'm walking into a really bad part of Denver. So I'm either gonna leave before it's dark or I'm Ubering back to the hotel. All right, so we had our beer and I'm walking back now because my phone's about to die and I need to make sure I can get back to the hotel. And also, like I said, I don't really like this area. So we're gonna just try and scurry on back to the hotel room. 
All right, guys, so I did make it back to the hotel, finally. Um, I'm just gonna recharge the phone, probably recharge myself a little bit, take a shower, find a place to eat, and then uh, later we're gonna go out to dinner. All right, just a little update for you guys. I've only been in here for like a half an hour, but I found the place I'm going to eat tonight. It's called the Capitol Grill. It was recommended by one of my dad's friends. I had to make a reservation at six o'clock, so it's kind of serious. But uh, yeah, that means I got about an hour and a half to shower, drink that one beer, and then figure out what to do with the rental car for the night, because like I said, I can't leave it where it is now, but uh, I don't know what to do. This hotel's got uh, ESPN too, so I've been watching that, and this guy's been talking about Lamar for like the last 15 minutes, just kind of going over the game versus the Texans coming up. It's gonna be a great game. But yeah, I gotta be jet lagged or something, man. Like, I'm fucking tired. I, granted, I was up at six o'clock this morning. I am so tired. Okay, so it's 5.20 now. I'm showered, I am refreshed, and I am ready to go eat some dinner. I got my nice clothes on. That's just a collared shirt. And we are gonna now go to the Capitol Grill. Kind of another cool shot of the city here. If you don't mind the intersection, that's completely blocked off by people who overcommitted the traffic laws. But yeah, this is, this is dope. Oh, I'm glad I can go right now, buddy. Come on! Dude, holy f Fuck, this traffic is so bad. So bad. By the way, there's a shopping mall right in the middle of downtown Denver. Fucking hello. If I wouldn't have left when I did, I would not be eating dinner tonight. I would not make it. All right, so we parked and now we're on our way there. We're really close. Pretty cool area here though. No idea what this is, but I bet you it is elite. That's all you hear down here. It's fucking crazy. What's that, the Tower of Italy? Maybe I should have eaten in here. This looks great. Vibe, coffee and wine. I mean, look at this shit, man. Not too bad. This would be really cool during Christmas. And here is where we are eating. Gotta be respectful in here, but I ordered a filet mignon with some buttery fig sauce and then el gratin potatoes. And this is a blackberry bourbon, uh, like old fashioned. <laughs> it's good. Definitely won't be having more than one though. I don't think this was free. This steak is unbelievable. The potatoes, nah. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm still going. I'm so full, but I gotta keep firing, man. This is this is so good. I'm not kidding you. That was that was the best steak I've ever had. Melted in my mouth. That was so good. Normally, I don't like to talk about how much I pay for anything, but that was a $90 meal, and 100%, I would do it again without a fucking hesitation. Like I said, the potatoes, not that good. I could have probably gotten some else, but that steak and that drink, unbelievable still really nice outside it's like 40 degrees i'm gonna be honest though anything feels nice when you live in negative 11 weather like minnesota okay i'm to the car now and i'm so full and i'm so tired <laughs> it's like 7 30 right now and i'm uh, about to go back and do the worst part of the night which is finding an overnight ramp to park this bad boy in then i'm going to the hotel man i think by 9 p.m i'm gonna be out tonight which isn't a problem because i gotta get up and moving in the morning all right i parked the car i kind of lucked out i'm actually pretty close to the hotel so i think before the rest of this bourbon hits me i'm gonna take a nice joy walk back to the room so on the real note as i'm standing standing out here under the stars, which there is no stars. If I ever did this again, where should I go next? And just to let you guys know, I'm a little scared to go to Atlanta. Not very comfortable with Vegas, and I don't really like California. But that doesn't mean I wouldn't do it. California, I may legitimately never go to. All right, I'm back in the hotel now, about to pass out. Anyway, before I do go to bed, I gotta tell the story about what just happened when I walked in the hotel. The fucking valet guy thought that I was someone completely different and just started pestering me with questions. He's like, where are you going? And I was like, up to my room. He's like, you haven't checked in yet. I'm like, what do you mean? And he's like, let me see your card. Pulled out my card like this. I was like, it's right here. And then he points behind me at some random car on the street. He's like, is that an Uber then or what? And I turned around, I'm like, I don't fucking know. What are you talking about? And and then the guy who he thought I was walked in behind me and then it was just a big misunderstanding, but I, it got a little heated. Anyway, I'm spent and I'm gonna lay down and I will probably see you guys in the morning. All right, I'm up. It's uh, it's not right. 
Six o'clock in the morning. I don't like waking up when you're not at your own house. Like, I hate it. I fucking hate it. I want to go home so bad right now. It is nothing against Denver. It's nothing against the hotel. It's nothing against anything. It's just the fact that I don't have my own shit. I don't have my coffee. I don't have my dog. I don't have anything. I just want to go home at this moment. I'll be fine once I wake up in like five seconds. Anyway, breakfast does get served at the hotel from 6 to 10 a.m., meaning I, I could go down and get some food right now, although I'm not going to be the first guy down there. And I also don't know if I want to eat breakfast breakfast here. Maybe I should go out and get breakfast, but at the same time, I should figure out what time my flight is so I don't miss that. So I'm going to kind of scramble together some things and come up with a plan and then I'll hit you guys in a little bit. No, I slept like a rock, by the way, like a rock. Okay. So it's 620 now and I kind of have a plan. My flight leaves at like 11. So I got to get on the road to the airport no later than about nine. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go get the car from the parking ramp, bring it across from the hotel so I can just throw my bags in it. And uh, yeah, we'll probably go and get breakfast somewhere somewhere else because we're here for another three hours. I don't need to eat at a fucking hotel. Watery scrambled eggs, a make-it-yourself waffle, and a muffin in a wrapper. Like, great. I'm not gonna lie, that breakfast didn't smell half bad, so we might go and look at it just to entertain ourselves. Now we just walk to the parking ramp to get my car, and I really hope that it's not a locked ramp, because if it is, I'm screwed. All right, completely different mood change here. I'm actually fucking pissed right now. You guys can see I got the car, but why does everyone in Denver just assume you're homeless? Is it my hat? Is it my flannel? Why? Why? I had the asshole in the hotel last night. Now we had the parking attendant who just didn't believe I had a car in the garage as I was honking the horn that we could both hear. He literally made me wait for like 10 minutes. He's like, dude, you just got to wait. We'll go find your car together, but I got to fix this gate. That wasn't broken, by the way. Then finally, after about the fucking 10th car where the gate went up and down without any problems, I looked at him and said, dude, I have a flight. Where then he finally got a little bit of urgency and went, oh, okay, yeah, let's go find your car then. Walked in literally two steps found my car, unlocked it, looked at him and said, thanks. Where he then goes, sorry, man, you just gotta understand we're being safe. I'm not homeless! Okay, back in the hotel now, and I did pick up some breakfast from the lobby, and they actually had a, a decent selection there, but it doesn't look or smell very good. I know your guys' angle is bad, but uh, two pieces of this sausage that feels and looks like rubber, some breakfast potatoes, and a cheese omelet. Apple juice is good, but you know, it's apple juice. You can't really mess that up. Let's try this sausage. It tastes like a cut up hot dog. It's disgusting. Potatoes. <laughs> okay, they're really bad too. <laughs> you gotta swallow it. And lastly, we got this cheese omelet. That's what I expected. Anyway, I guess I'll shower. That, that seems like a, a pretty appropriate thing to do. Maybe people will stop mistaking me for being homeless then. All right, so hotel is packed up, cleaned up. I've put everything away. Well, I mean, I packed up my clothes. I didn't have anything other than that, but I cleaned up everything and uh, we are ready to go. It's really peaceful out here, actually, in the daytime. Definitely feels like Minneapolis now. Surrounded by a bunch of big buildings and honking horns. All right, so I found a coffee shop that I'm walking to now. I parked the car, and we're just gonna go grab a cup of coffee and then hop right back in it. But I'm actually driving to the airport right now. Dude, it's so crazy. If you're trying to get coffee or breakfast in downtown or uptown Denver, like, you are gonna have to pay for parking. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to do it. And parking and driving in general is just pure hell. So we'll take some time and eat some breakfast at the airport, but I need coffee now. So I'm going to go to this place that I think is called the Logan's. Yeah, this place, the Logan house. Ah, I got the coffee and got probably the best slice of banana bread I've ever had. Trip is done. It's all about wrapping up and getting home safe now. So uh, that's what we're going to do. With that and I can't wait to stop driving this car. You guys tr try driving and looking through that. And those saying, why? Why didn't you get a car wash? I'm not fucking paying for it. That's why. Might as well update you guys. Dropped off the car. Now waiting for the shuttle to go to the airport. Please continue to hold on. All right, guys, I'm back in Minnesota now. Uh, I just want to make one final vlog for you guys before I actually end this. So uh, this is probably going to be the last clip you guys see. Again, I, I enjoyed this trip a lot, and I hope you guys did too. As you can see, it's really cold here. It's like it feels negative 16. I think it's like 2 degrees. But everything I just said, though, you guys already know what to do. Show support, comment, like. You guys know I appreciate any and all help. But with everything I just said, take it easy, and I will see you in the next upload.